I get this question a lot. And how much money do I need to spend on marketing per year with you guys? Well, that is a great question. And it's it's crazy because it's not cookie cutter for everything, but there's a good principle that they say that you need to use. And that principle is 8% to 12% of your gross revenue should be going towards your marketing. That's what studies show. And depending on what side of that you want to go is if you want to really grow and really invest and in 12% is where you want to be. Um, maybe 14%. I've even seen people 17% um, of their gross revenue going into marketing. But if you want like a slow growth and just getting started and you're more conservative, then you can do 8% of your gross. And so it's very, very difficult to do any kind of growth or any kind of marketing when you're only spending like 5% or 6%. Um, a lot of that is because you have a good name behind you or word of mouth, right? And so you can kind of have a low marketing percentage. But if you're just getting started and you don't have word of mouth or your word of mouth is drying up, because which is what's happening is what we keep hearing and we keep getting calls and people keep coming to us, it's because their old school way of marketing, which is word of mouth, is not working anymore. And why? Because everyone's doing their due diligence. Just because I say, hey, use this plumber, hey, use this heating and air company, they're still gonna look you up and they're gonna look at you up, you up and they're gonna look at your competitors and then they're still gonna make a decision who they wanna use, right? And so you really have to invest in marketing um, and eight to 12%, it's really kind of a good ballpark. Um, and so, you know, if you got a one truck or two truck or three truck operation, well, you gotta spend at least five grand a month, right? Maybe three grand. If you think about it, the average ticket price or the average lead cost is anywhere between 50 to $150, right? If you're an um, electrician, if you're a plumber, it's like 80 to 150, 180. Um, for, a, <coughs> excuse me, for a heating and air company, it's more like, um, a hundred, it's like $80, $100 to like $250 to acquire that heating and air call, right? And so it, it's expensive. So if all you have is $2,000 a month, it, it dries up, right? And if you have two trucks, maybe your guys are busy for two weeks, right? Three weeks, maybe. And so you really have to sit down and manage and see what do we need, what, how much money do we want to spend in marketing? And then you determine what you do. So let's say you have $5,000 to spend, then you put SEO, you put social media ads, you do some Google AdWords, right? Google local service ads, you do, you know, maybe some other directories like Nextdoor app and all that. There's other ways to do, to spend your money, but you really have to decide what do you want to spend. And I tell my clients, we don't take everybody, right? If you don't have at least, you know, three to five grand to spend on marketing, depending on what niche you're in, then you might as well not even uh, I'm start. You got to go get a capital somewhere, go get a loan. You really have to invest into your marketing in order to be successful. And it's going to take time. It's not like you spend five grand a month and you your phone's going to ring off the hook. It takes time. It's going to take like six months to seven months to really th get things going, specifically on the SEO side. Google AdWords, obviously you get on there in front page of Google overnight, right? You know, hey, I want to be on the first place. But like, less than 5%, maybe 10%, but less than 5% of people click on PPC, right? Pay-per-click. And so you got 95%, call it 10%. 90% of people are clicking on orga organic calls, right? The, I mean, the organic listing, which is three pack or um, the Google My Business side, right? And then you got the organic underneath that. And so you're trying to spend all your money on AdWords to buy your way to the front and, and what's really going to sustain your company is organic, right? You're going to you're going to see more calls, and that's a fixed cost. So think about it. you say you got three thousand dollars to spend, you're going to put on Google AdWords. Well, okay, cool. So you're showing up, right? Getting guys busy. But what if you need fifty calls? What if you need hundred calls? What if you need, you know, th you know, whatever him calls, right? Well, then you got to spend more money, right? Because you got it's costing you per call. So if you say you got your calls down to fifty dollars a lead. And you need more, we gotta put more money towards it, right? Versus Google versus SEO, search engine optimization, um, being found if someone says plumber near me or best plumber or plumbing company or heating air, whatever service, if they type that in Google and you show up, it's a fixed cost. Whether you get 50 calls or 100 calls, it's a fixed cost. So the more you're on the front page of Google, the more keywords you're on the front page, the more calls you're gonna get, the more exposure and the lower the cost per lead gets. Right, and so you got to make sure you are spreading out your marketing. Where are you spending your marketing dollars, right? And so, how much money do you spend in marketing? Well, how fast do you want to grow? I have guys coming out the gate. Hey, we want to spend fifteen grand a month, and we only got two trucks. Okay, well, this is how I would spend it. And those guys, they do well. And if you know what, Daniel, we don't have that much money. We we got like five grand a month to spend. Okay, 
that's that's a good that's a good start, right? And so there's ways to do it, and you can't just you know it's not throwing money to a company and thinking you get results. You got to have the right way. You have to have the right way to do it, and you have the right tools, the right mediums, whether it's PPC, SEO, video marketing, display ads, TV, radio. All those things are available, but you have to do it at the right time. And if you spend all this money up front with all these other things, and you don't have a solid foundation, well then you're gonna get missed, right? I mean, you're gonna miss the opportunity, you're gonna spend a lot of money, you're gonna waste your time with a, a agency that's telling you, oh, spend all your money on PPC, we can get you calls, and then when that dries up, or Google makes a change, you know, because PPC, Google did make a change, right? It was Google AdWords, and now you got Google Local Service Ads, which is Google's guarantee. So just that alone affected people who had a PPC-only strategy. Think about that, right? And so you really have to know how much money you wanna spend per month before you call any agency, right? Figure that out. Don't tell the agency, oh, you know, don't leave it up to the agency to say, this is how much you need to spend, right? People tell me all that, hey, well, how much do you think I need to spend? Well, that is a hard question because I could tell you if you're in Dallas, Fort Worth, and you're trying to compete for a heating and air company, if you got $3,000 to spend, keep your money, don't even try. You're not even going to take a tap. You got to you got to go on the outer skirts and you know um, the, the outer towns, the rural areas. Maybe that's going to get you there. But if you want you know best plumber in Fort Worth, you better you better go somewhere else, right? With that. So so what I like to hear is like, well, how much money did you put aside to say this is what we want to spend in marketing? That's a business owner. How much money? Well, I my my goal is to spend this much money. Okay, then I can say, well, that's not enough. Or hey, can you put another $2,000 towards it? Or hey, if you spend another 500, you can get more branding and awareness social ads, right? Uh, social media ads. And so you as the business owner have to know how much money you want to spend per month. And then we, the ad agency will then tell you, hey, that's not enough. Or hey, that's perfect. This is how we spread it. Or what are your goals? Do you want to grow fast? Do you want to get to five trucks in one year? Then that's not enough. If you say, you know what, I'm going to grow slowly, then okay, that's going to be enough, right? And so I can come to you and say, hey, you want to, you know, you should have ten thousand dollars a month, you know, because we're getting started. Well, I don't have gross revenue, Daniel. Like we just started, so how do I know how much money? Well, that's a great question. It's just again, what is your goal? So beware, be aware, uh, or beware from the people that have cookie cutter processes, cookie cutter budgets, cookie cutter systems to just put you in things because. It, it doesn't work for everybody. So I hope I answered your question. How much money do you, you need to spend in marketing? Well, it really depends. Look at your budget. Look at your capital. Look at how much money you got to start. Right? Spread it out. Hey, I got $100,000 to spend this year in marketing. Awesome. I got a company um, that's looking at us, and they have $300,000 to spend on marketing for the first year. And they're starting a heating and air company, and they're starting a, um, a plumbing company. That's fantastic. All right. Let's go. Here's all the cool things we can do with it. Here's what you can expect from all these different uh, mediums, right? And so we can work with any budget, but if you don't have enough, then you might as well just keep your money because you can get frustrated. You can get mad at whoever agency that you hired to do it because you just don't have enough money to even make a dent. It is a very, very competitive age. And you better know where you're spending your money and where you're putting your money and which company is spending your money so you get a good ROI and you start growing year after year. So I've been hearing that question a lot. And if you have any other questions, put in the comments. You want to hear about other things, I'm going to start doing more videos and start answering questions about marketing. Uh, it doesn't have to be specifically on service, home service contracting, even though we do a lot of home service contracting stuff. But we do restaurants. We had lawyers. We had doctors, uh, physicians. We had it all. And so, uh, some comments. So, yeah, just let me know. If you have any questions, tell me your feedback. Do you like this video? Was it helpful? Share it if you like it. Aloha.